Hey, there you are. Good to see you again. Welcome back to the channel. It's Jody, CLD Outdoors. It's back out in the woods again today. Taking a little trip. Gonna do some lounging here by the creek. Also, I'm going to try to have some freshwater crawdads today. Never had any before, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh, check this out, guys. Right here by the creek where I'm at. There's a huge bear track. Look at this. As big as my fist. Yeah, we do have black bear in this part of the country where I'm at. We have black bear, coyotes. Those are really the only two predators that we have. Maybe a mountain lion. Not a mountain lion, but a bobcat. We do have bobcat. I'm not too much worried about them. They usually mind their own business and stay away from folks. But we will be vigilant, paying attention to what's around us. That way, we don't get caught off guard by anything. I've seen bear track up here before in the past. I've camped up here many times and never had any problems with any kind of critters. I had deer come in on me once, but I'm not real concerned about a deer. But that's something to take notice of, a big bear track, so we'll keep our eyes open. Make sure we don't get caught off guard by a black bear. We sure don't want to do that, especially if it's one with cubs. Looks like it may have walked. There's a pool of water here. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's some big creek chubs over in there, big ones. Uh, it looks like the bear might have walked right through here. You can see the indentions in the, in the sand and dirt. Could be deer as well. Just traveling. Just traveling through the water. But we'll be on alert for that. Not get caught off guard by any critters. Anywho. Anyway, guys. This is a beautiful spot I'm in. I want to show you guys this place particular place i'm trying to get to beautiful country up here i'll show you instead of looking at me beautiful country you see all those minnows in there minners we call them be true to myself i'm trying to get around this little water hole There's a spot up here that I want you guys to see. These rocks are slick. surrounded on each on this side by a shell face with the coal seam on up the middle there yeah this is coal country I'm here born and raised See if there's any track up here anywhere. See some deer tracks. No more bear tracks so far. This is the spot I want you guys to see how beautiful it is. This is a natural. This is a natural breezeway with this mountain on this side and this on this side 
cool air just blows all the time. And it's it's a warm day here. The ride up here was kind of warm. But this is a natural breezeway and it, that air just blows right. And it feels amazing. But we're gonna move on up the creek here. If we can do it without killing ourselves. Here it is. Man, what a beautiful place. I don't see any bear tracks up here in this sand anywhere. What a beautiful place. So, what I'm gonna do is try to find, what I'm gonna do is try to find me some, uh, try to catch me a few crawdads. That's what I call them anyway. And we're gonna try to boil them up and see what it tastes like. Take my shoes off, get in the water. Got these pants, they zip off. They have they have zip off about right above the knees, so that's what we're gonna do. Guys, I got my pants zipped off. We're gonna hit the water, see what we can find. Hopefully, we can find some decent size ones, at least a couple inches long. Woo! Cold water. Cold water. We're gonna see what we can find. I have to be careful because these rocks are like glass. They get mold on the top. They are slicker, slicker, slicker. All right, everyone. Let's see if we can find us some crawdads here. This looks like a good spot right here under this big rock. I can see. You can see this is right here where they dug out from underneath there to make them a home. And let's see what's under here. Nobody home in this one. Must be an old, old one that they've abandoned. Well, let's mosey on down here to where we've got some rocks to flip over. Right 
got my stainless cup to put them in. There's a little baby. You can't really do much with him. It's another small one. These things are fast as lightning. For those of you that have never tried to catch them, It's unfortunate. There was one under here, but it's dead now. And there's the remnants of it. There's one. Look at that, guys. That thing is soft as butter. I don't know how it's even alive. The shell's not hard. The, the uh, pinchers are not hard. It's a good size one, though. All right, that's one. Let's see what else we can find. Got him in there. Got him in there. See what else we can find. I know there's salamanders here too, but I'm not really interested in trying to eat salamanders. Not at all interested in that. These things are laying dead all over the place up here. Here's another one that has died. They're so daggone soft, I don't know how they're alive anyway. A lot of times the water will get up and turbulent and it'll kill them. Uh, raccoons love to eat them, so they kill a lot of them too. Another one. Look at that. See how easy that was to catch? He's a little feisty. He's a hard shell. He might kill the subtle one when I put it in there. A lot of times they do that. There's another one. Smaller, but we'll take him. This is gonna be easier than I thought it was. I already got three in there. A couple more and we'll be good. And then we'll have to get us a fire going. Tiny when I see it moving around in the water. Too little, too little. Let's lift this big rock here up. I hope there might be a bigger one under. <sighs> Nothing under that one. down the creek here is where we saw the the bear track so keep keep that in mind which I haven't seen any up this way
try to look for the telltale sign of where they've moved dirt under the rocks pushing it out to make them home like this one right here which that's probably got a little one underneath it I'd say well it's decent it's decent got one pincher all right that's enough I'll take four and leave the rest for the raccoons. I love walking barefoot in these creeks and on this sand. It takes some getting used to and getting your feet up for the task but I enjoy it, it feels good it feels natural okay <laughs> 